This is the Vegan Anarchist. And in this video, it's going to be about why, uh, well, does protest even work? Does protesting, or rather why most protests don't work, or why protests don't work because, as you know, or why protest is kind of protects, something like that because, you know, hopefully something clickbaiting. Please suggest some good clickbait uh, title. Anyways, and, and in this morning, I'm just going to discuss the idea of, well, it's, it's kind of like this liberal, well, I promoted by a lot of liberals and me conservatives, the idea that, oh, if we just hold up a bunch of signs, we could change the world. Yeah, I mean, like, just Steiner. The Iraq War! The Iraq War is immoral! Definitely didn't stop, definitely stopped the Iraq War. Oh wait, it actually didn't. I mean, to a point, the largest demonstration, probably in the history of the war in one day, did not stop the Iraq War. They just, Bush just dismissed as special interest groups. And that's the thing, like, a lot of people put so much faith in, like, oh, era grievances raise signs, but the problem is that it's all bark but no bite. If you're just gonna bite, if you might, you if you have a loud bark, you might as well have even nastier bites, like a crocodile bite or a shark, perfectly crocodile because they bite harder. But no, it's just. Um, oh, what happens? Oh, liberals come in and be like, yo, guy, and they, and they try to recruit people like us into voting for them and try to co-opting our movements like those leeches typically do. No. The point is, is if the United States is truly democratic, which is not, it is a delusion of things, so, but if it's truly democratic, we wouldn't need to protest. If it's not democratic, like I say it was, then protesting basically does shit to change anything. Except for one exception. And I'm going to talk about that. Now, one exception is basically, well, even though protests, you know, spark, you no know, bite, it does, however, affect the consciousness of the people involved who support the protest who are part of it and those who support it it's and it, in the psychological effect mass psychology does play a role and it has led to many times like in may 1968 in france a general strike and a revolution that was almost successful but not quite but i mean yeah i mean so it does, but the problem is, is that people just protest, they go home, and then they vote Democrat. Yeah, that's not going to do shit. I mean, protests don't, like, there's a reason why the Constitution allows a peaceful assembly. Because, well, if you're not fucking shit up and making it hard for the establishment by like blocking roads and and freaking uh I don't know uh sabotage and even armed struggle oh yeah yeah don't do that because that would totally not threaten that would totally threaten us if you don't which is bullshit the reason why it's there is because what they want us to air our grievances so we can think we're being heard, but we're not. Now, some would say, oh, what the Tea Party proves them wrong. Like, I know in Texas, especially, the Tea Party's wrong. But here's the thing, the Tea Party is funded by Coke Brothers, and they have the teeth of Coke industry backing them up. Unless you want to be funded by George fucking Soros, no! And still, where's my George Soros check? Where is that goddamn check? The point is, is that a demonstration shouldn't be treated as a political ends of itself or 
or just something just to do, just to show power. We don't like you, but there's a fine line between saying, I don't like something, and I don't like this, and I'm going to do something about it, and I don't care what it takes, but I'm going to get rid of it. There's a difference between, oh, let's protest for $15 like liberals do, or, or basically seizing, a, or having a strike, general strike or a wildcat strike, and just seizing the means of production, or harass the petty bourgeois fucks until they give and sell their businesses, and then they buy it, the workers do, they being the workers. That's different than fight for 15 and half the government does it, because when the government fucking touches shit, like socialism, like anything, it fucking ruins it. The point is, is that if all you do is protest, or eat, or vote, you are not doing anything relevant. You're not. If you're not, for example, supporting prisoners, or maybe just getting the word out there if you can't do much else like I am doing here, or direct actions like the No Dapple, or Various others, so many different causes that need to be worked on, like vegan education. The point it's not going to do anything. And of course, some people are pointing to like the civil rights march uh, in the 60s that before the civil rights passed, but that march was just a culmination of of struggle that that has been going on in back there. Black people have been struggling for the rights for a long time before the 50s and 60s, but they got especially militant. Like the reason why they gave, gave them is because well, the Black Civil Rights Movement had a network. They had people. They they're actually causing. They're actually causing so much economic calamity. They have to give them something. Because if they don't, well, Malcolm fucking X isn't afraid to use a shotgun on you or a rifle. Who do you want to choose, Mal uh, MLK or Malcolm X, who would go to war with you? Hmm, that's not really a hard choice. Same thing for Gandhi. The point is, before I end this video, yeah, the Women's March. All those protest movements does, don't on their own do shit. They're not doing anything productive. And if you're just going to do that stuff, you might as well fucking stay home. If that's all you do, you might as well stay home. But, but then, it, but sometimes it's good for solidarity purposes. It weren't for that, for example, the airport workers wouldn't have been shut, wouldn't have tried to shut down the airport for because of the Trump ban. But, but that's pretty much it. Like it, it's plays. Protests don't play the main role. It's just, it's just maybe solidarity, but on its own, it's just bark. Now sometimes you can have barks, and sometimes it gets really loud and gets really confrontational, and then boom, an insurrection or revolution. But, but protests on their own. And voting for slightly less shitty candidates isn't gonna do shit. Anyways, this is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. Freedom for all or freedom for none. See you.